If you would like to see how I made Luna Love Goods cork necklace, then keep on watching. Here are the items that you will be needing. Bead caps, clear cord, jump rings, eye pins, blue beads, cork, super glue or any type of glue, scissors. So before I started beading the clear cord, I took my cork, an eye pin, and a bead cap, and I am going to be gluing these into the cork so that while I am beading my clear cord, uh, this will have time to dry before I attach it to the necklace. So I am prematurely opening up the glue because I thought it was going to be easy to insert the eye pin into the cork, but I was sorely mistaken. So I'm trying to, I tried to use a screwdriver to start the hole, that wasn't working. Uh, you will see me use a safety pin, not a safety pin, a paper clip to finally start the hole. It was very difficult. You may not have this much difficulty with your cork, but with this cork for some reason, the eye pin did not want to go in. So right here, I'm using the paper clip to open it up. Uh, finally, I was able to. So what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna take a bead cap, uh, the size that I want. Uh, this is the size I used. And then I am going to take the glue and glue the top of the cork so that the eye so the bead cap stays in place I don't have a lot of time to work here since the glue sets in 30 seconds so I am inserting the eye pin into the glue to get some glue on the pin and you will see me struggle to keep these two pieces together don't drop it like I did you don't want that type of glue on your, your fabric or whatever surface you're working on. Uh, now insert the eye pin through the bead cap onto the cork. I'm still struggling to get it in. I just, for the life of me, could not do it. I was struggling with shakiness and it was just a hard cork. But eventually, you'll see, I got it. Now put that aside to dry. I'm glad that is finally done. Uh, don't forget to close your glue up so it doesn't dry out on you. Now take your clear cord and I didn't realize when I purchased this that it was a stretch version. It's, I do not suggest the stretch version. It is very difficult to work with as you'll see in a little bit as I'm trying to beat it. Um, I suggest you use the non-stretch version. So what I'm trying to do here is unwind the cord to measure what size I wanted. I, in hindsight, I should have done just one long string, but I decided in the moment to do two separate strings and I measured it around the neck to see how long I wanted and here I am cutting it, but I suggest going with one long continuous string. I believe it would make it this process easier, but it is what it is. What are you gonna do? So, okay, yeah, I got the beads all over the place trying to open it, but that's okay. It's not that big of a deal. Here you'll see me struggling to get the beads on the cord. One, because it's stretch cord, and two, because I am shaking due to coming up onto a lupus infusion. So this process took a while. I eventually got fed up with how slow it was taken. So I got a needle, uh, like a threaded needle type thread. And I basically put the beads on through the thread, the needle, which made it a lot easier. 
So instead of making you guys watch me do this, I am going to be back when I am done beating the two strands of necklaces. I am finally done. Here are the two strands. Now what I am going to do is I'm going to add, not add, I'm going to tie, I don't even know what you call this. It's like, it's a circle with a, you basically insert the long part into the circle. But anyways, I'll have to look up what that's called and I'll put it uh, down here in the bottom of the video. Here you're going to see me struggling to tie this off. This is where doing one continuous strand would have been a lot easier. So I'm going to come back when I'm done with that. Now that I am done with that very tedious part, what I am going to do now is trim the excess cord off. Here is how you insert the stick into the circle. And this is how we would put the necklace on. Here I am trying to find the center of the necklace, thinking that I was ready to add the jump rings, but I was sorely mistaken. I had accidentally bought closed jump rings. These ones do not open. Don't make the same mistake I did. So thankfully I had the right jump rings on hand, so I will go off and I will get those and I will be back with you in a moment. So this is how you will be opening up your jump rings. You're going to twist them apart. Don't try to pull them apart because that will damage them. So if you twist it and twist it back on, it will be a lot easier to open them up. This is how you don't want to open them. So I opened up an image of Luna Lovegood wearing the necklace to see how many jump rings I needed. And it looks like there's a total of four jump rings. Here I'm going to open up all of my jump rings all at once so that they are all ready to go. Again, you twist them open and then I'll set it down and open up the remaining three. Here you will see me struggling to get a hold of the jump rings because I am shaking. Thank you, Boopus. <laughs> Now hold up your necklace and find the middle of just one of the strands of the necklace because the cork is only attached to one. So what you will do is take your pliers, hold up your jump ring so that the opening is at the top and insert the string into the jump ring and then twist it to close it. Now you will do this with the remaining three jump rings.
Now with the last jump ring you put on, do not close it. What you're gonna do is you're gonna insert the eye pin attached to the cork to the opened eye pin, not eye pin, sorry, jump ring. And then you will close it to attach the cork. And now your necklace is finally done. Here, I think I'm trying to try it on for you guys to show you, but then I realize that you can't even see me. So I will show you here in a second. And at the end, I will show you the picture again. So I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. It was very fun to make. Uh, if you could, uh, please subscribe and like this video. It will be greatly appreciated. And don't forget to click that bell to be notified of upcoming videos, and I look forward to seeing you on our next adventure.